bad reasons for not taking care of the planet. My worldview is something like a reversal of Pascal's wager, in terms of the damage we cause to the planet upon which we live. To some religious people, good behavior according to their holy book is rewarded after death. So the human behavior which damages the environment is not always considered especially important. If that is a load of rubbish, we will depend on the earth beyond the so-called end times. The religious, I'm sure, will say, look at the world, look at what a mess humanity has made of it, it's all down to their sinful ways. But rather than focusing on reducing and repairing damage, they want to preach their gospel. Let's hope that these are not the end times, so this way of thinking does not become a self-fulfilling prophecy. It would be prudent to assume that there is no heaven, no afterlife, and so on, and live our lives accordingly with the long-term survival of our species in mind. Not only our species, but biodiversity and all life on this beautiful and amazing planet. Some religious fundamentalists believe that Christ is going to return soon, and kind of use that as an excuse for not being too worried about taking care of the earth because they think it's all going to be destroyed soon anyway. Another bad reason is that some folk think that it's possible to colonize space. The Earth is the only home we've got. We're so far from being able to migrate off the planet, I would say we're generations away, if it ever actually is possible. What would it take to be able to leave the Earth, never return and survive long term? what would we have to take with us? If the earth is stuffed, then I'd say that humanity is also stuffed. We are wholly dependent on the earth. We are a part of the natural world. Humans are animals, whether we like it or not. When I hear people say, you might have evolved from an ape, but I didn't, I always think of the Johnny Cash line, I don't like it, but I get things happen that way. Even though he's singing about something different, the line sticks in my mind. I feel the same way about the cruelty of nature, the fact that some animals have to eat others in order to survive. Those being eaten are forced against their will to endure terrible pain and suffering. I don't like it, but I get things happen that way. Within this is a very important concept which many people I've spoken to don't seem to understand. Just because something is nasty, uncomfortable or inconvenient doesn't mean that that's not the way it is. I'm in the truth business, not the comfortable delusion business.